So here is the final product. I kind of love it. The lighting's kind of horrible, but there it is. And then this is Scarlett's book that I just did. Apparently, I was in a crafting mood. Yeah, um, there we go. But yeah, I actually have to fill this all out. So I'm kind of excited to do that. Print out some pictures, like random favorite thing, things to remember, first moments with the mommy and daddy to add, um, people in my life, my first diaper was changed by mommy, <laughs> yeah, so that's her book, I'm super excited to find out, I hope she loves it, this is what we are left with, so I'm gonna clean it all up now, yay, Hi, Blockies! You do it! Oh my goodness! I cannot handle the cuteness! I don't know if you can even see anything. You can't see anything. Okay, well that was anticlimactic. Sorry about that. It's night time. You can't see anything. I'm just learning. Trying to edit my January video. Happy Monday morning. It is 8.28. I am on my way to work. I am clearly doing a crackerjack job. Um, more than likely I'm going to be late today, honestly, which I'm not proud of, but I had a good morning. I got a chance to put on some makeup. So I woke up at like 5 o'clock this morning um, and I did some schoolwork. 
So I'm pretty proud of myself, yay. And now I'm just on my way to work. I have my planner in my hand and I have a lot of traffic on my way to work. And so a lot of the times I will, when I'm like stopped in traffic, I'll like write down my plan for the week. Um, it just makes my Monday morning commute a lot, I don't know, more productive and happier. Um, but I'm currently, um, I'm currently about 10 minutes away from work and it's now 8.30 so I'm gonna be late. But it's okay, um, I'm listening to some good music and I'm planning and today's gonna be a good day, hopefully. Yay! Okay, bye! Good evening. It is later in the day. I am just chilling with my baby. Yes. Yeah. She has actually um been sick. So today is Monday and as of last week Thursday she was supposed to have her injections and she didn't because she was running a slight fever. And then Friday she was still kind of sick and Saturday morning she actually had a fever of 103 <laughs> and so um she hasn't been doing well at all and she's been like quiet and sleepy and she didn't want to eat and she hasn't been her happy self um but she's teething and so yesterday her, she has two bottom teeth already and one top tooth, which all three of those were fine. And then the fourth, like the other top tooth, um, the fourth tooth coming in, oh man. But yesterday, I think it broke because her fever yeah. broke. Yeah. Her fever broke and um, I kind of tried to feel it. She doesn't really let me, let mama touch it. You see, she'll pull away, but um, it kind of felt rough, so I think that it's better, but she's still um, kind of, still a little bit quiet, still a little bit sleepy and tired, so yeah, she's just doing with lots of mama love ups, mm? Mm. so yeah, I am just trying to edit January's video, which I'm now learning to edit on iMovie and I kind of love it. Um, it's kind of exciting, so yeah. But you see, she never does this ever, so you can tell she's not really a hundred percent. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> and do you see her hand? She has like. Mosquito bites everywhere. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Come, let's go. Smile. Oh, 
So we are at the park and we are just chilling. I have this book that I'm gonna read and I love it. Hi. <laughs> okay, um, so this is like the 100th time that I'm trying to record this because I got a new phone and it's kind of shitty and I think it's like deleting all my videos I don't know what's going on um anyways today the 18th of February 2020 I got accepted into ICASA which is the American University of Antigua College of Medicine's two-year pre-med program so that is pretty exciting stuff. I actually, it's so weird how it happened or like how I found out. Um, I was in Starbucks earlier doing some studying and every so often I just log into like my portal on the AUA website to see um, what my status is. And so I logged in and I saw um, something like recipient accepted pending um, deposit you know like security deposit whatever and I was like what but I hadn't got an email I hadn't got anything so I was like hold a minute and so I was kind of like because I know they're waiting for like my transcripts to come through so I don't know if they got them or what so I was just like like I wasn't expecting to see that and I hadn't like been notified officially so I just logged on egg stuff because I don't know, maybe it was like too anticlimactic or something. Um, and so then I was there being like, wait, what, huh? And so I kept checking my email to see if I would get email. I didn't get any. And then my phone was in my bag, so I pulled up my phone and then I saw a missed call from um, like an American number. And so um, I was like, okay, that's weird. And I checked my voicemail to see if voicemail had been left, but voicemail hadn't been left. So I was like, okay. And then I was like, hold on, like I was just trying to process this, right? And I refreshed my email a couple more times again. Um, and then I checked my phone again. And then I saw that voicemail had been left. So obviously, like, the first time I checked, um, they hadn't finished leaving the voicemail. So I was like, oh, my God. Um, so I kind of figured that it was somebody calling me and telling me that I was accepted. But um, I wasn't sure. And I didn't want to, like, miss my reaction, even though, like, I kind of already knew. So, um... I actually recorded myself in Starbucks on my MacBook um, listening to the call. So yeah, um, I don't know if I can insert that. I'll try to insert it. anybody yet I actually am um, it's now about 5 30 and I actually got that call I think was it around 2 or 2 30 um and I haven't called anybody yet I've just been like what and then I went and I saw a movie the new birds of prey the Harley Quinn movie um so I went and I watched that and I just got out of that <sighs> oh my god today's a day I also got my helix pierced um, it's kind of bloody. It's actually blood a lot more than I thought it would. So yeah, this is, I'm like, well, I haven't told anybody yet. And obviously I'm super excited, but I don't even know if I'm going to be able to go. I don't know, like, because 
they don't do any um, financial aid so it's all up to me to pay for it or figure out how to pay for it I don't know it's a lot I was just like oh my god what is this day like usually a good day for me is like oh I get to watch a movie that's a good day but today I got to watch a movie and I got my Helix Pierce which is like whoa I've wanted to do this for so long and I get accepted to a kind of medical school because um, this program once I do well on it I am automatically entered into medical school so yeah anyways um it's a lot I'm gonna call Heath now and tell him okay Last night, I was talking to Heath and he was telling me he thinks I should go ahead and accept my offer to ICASA or from ICASA. I still haven't 100% figured out how I'm going to pay for all four semesters. I think that right now I am good for one semester. <laughs> I, I'm going to still think and pray about it a little bit more. I think I'm going to go ahead and accept it because... I mean, it's an offer to medical school, guys, and I've wanted this for so long, and I just need to go ahead and accept it and get on with what I want to do with my life, because this is what I want to do with my life, and undoubtedly there's going to be challenges, there's going to be times when I want to give up, um, there's going to be times when I want to lose my mind and I don't know how I'm going to make it work. Even right now, I'm not really 100% sure how I'm going to make it work, how I'm going to pay for it. I'm just going to try to do it. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, by pretty excited, I mean ridiculously excited. Like, I think a part of me is still not acknowledging that I have been accepted because maybe fear of not being able to go and then like you know having my heart crashed or something like that and then part of it I'm sure and I think this is a big part of it it's just fear of the unknown it's just the um you know fear of what might happen what's gonna be like I'm moving to a new country I'm moving to a new country with my baby but I'm trying not to give too much power to that fear because um as with anything new um I am always very hesitant um I mean especially something so big but I'm just trying to make sure that <laughs> the hesitancy I'm feeling is due to that um, and not due to th something in my gut telling me don't do this. Keith was asking me last night, he was like, okay, postpone it until when? For what are you waiting for to postpone it? Um, and I didn't really have a very good answer to that. I could say postpone it until Scarlett's a little bit older, but is that really going to be that much of a difference? And time just keeps sticking by and um, if I think about, you know, the life I'm living right now I mean it's a good life it's a comfortable life no doubt about it um, but to just keep living it for another year I kind of don't feel like I'm making any progress so I'm pretty sure that this is what I'm gonna do hopefully I am going to medical school <laughs> now we're done. that's it I'm at work it's 8 18 I don't have to be here for like another 12 minutes so I'm just in my car um, I don't know chilling <laughs> okay bye